Good morning and welcome to the Morning Coffee with John Plassard. Today, I'm focusing on U.S. residential eviction. Recently, the Center for Disease Control and Prevention put forward temporarily halting residential eviction in the U.S. to prevent the further spread of COVID-19. The order read that eviction moratoria facilitates self-isolation by people who become ill or who are at risk from severe illness from COVID-19 due to an underlying medical condition. Since Congress failed to take adequate follow-up actions on the expiry weekly replenishment plan for regular unemployment benefits, they have been widespread concern about the crisis of mass eviction across, across the United States. According to estimate issued by the COVID-19 Eviction Defense Project and the Aspen Institute in early August, as many as 40 million U.S. renters are at risk of eviction this year, a risk that can at least be temporarily mitigated by this suspension. And while tenant hit by the unprecedented job crisis will be relieved to avoid eviction for now, landlord association, housing researcher, and economists are calling for some kind of rent assistance program because the CDC order only hit pause on what could turn into a major housing crisis. If there is no mechanism to help tenants pay at least part of their rent, there will still be eviction once the moratorium expires. At the same time, the landlord himself may encounter difficulties in paying fees and mortgage. And finally, banks again could be hit hard if they didn't provide, if they didn't provide enough provision last two quarters. Thank you very much. Have a great day. Stay safe. Read my morning and keep on winning.